Welcome to the Pond Podcast for a path array. We're going to do number 19 in chapter 9. Uh, it'll look just like you have up on the screen here. That's the example. So how we do that is we'll start a new sketch, a new drawing. We'll start our limits. So I'll type limits and I'll do 0, 0. And then my next limit I'll do like 15 by 15. And then I want to change the line width, so I'll type line width, and there it is right there, P line WID, change that to 0 .02 is what the book asks us to do. All right, then we're going to do a polyline. So you can type pline, and we'll start at, oh gosh, I don't know, let's start at 12... Two. So I'm typing 12, tab 2. All right. So we got our polyline started. I'm going to hit F8 so I know my line's straight, turning on my orthos. Type in 10. Now I want to right-click and do an arc. And I'll make that arc. So it's asking for the diameter, and we want 2. And I'm going to right-click and change it back to a line. And I want that to be 10. Then I'm going to hit escape. So a polyline is one continuous line. If I kind of click on it, you can see it all gets selected. So the next thing I want to do is create a line. I'm going to type line. And I'm going to go to the end of our polyline. I'm going to draw a straight line up. And I want that to be two. And I'll hit escape. And I want to array that. And there's a couple types of arrays. You, we've used the rectangular array before and the polar array. Now it's time to use the path array. So if I click on that, um, and then we click on the line we just drew, hit enter, click on the polyline you did, you can see it shows up. Um, you know, yours might not show up like this. So what you'll want to do is you'll click on the item count. And uh, we do want 24. So if you put 20, if you had 20 all of a sudden, you know, you might look like that. So I'm going to change it back because the book asks for 24, and it asks for the space between um, to be 1. So we're good there. And, and there we go. All done. So that's what you want it to look like. I'm going to hit Save As and put this in my... Put this in my CAD folder, and I'm going to call this uh, parking lot. Sorry. Parking lot, and then throw your initials on there. All right. Thanks. Good luck with the next one.